Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at this dinky caravan. As far as I know, they made two of these. And, well, to say they made two of them, they made a load of them, but they made them in two different colours. Orange and cream and blue and cream. This one is obviously the orange and cream. So, yeah, as you can see, I've already drilled the base off this. Um, so it's ready to take apart the strip and everything else. I just drilled the base off and drilled the holes in for the rivets, that's all. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to look at this one. should be a quick and easy one. I'll be using the Woolco cream for the top uh, on this one. Uh, but this time I'm going to use a primer. Last time I didn't, so this time I'm going to use a primer. It should be fairly basic, this one. I'm holding the camera near the near the uh, turns over this time rather than being on a tripod. The, the tripod seems a bit, a bit too far away, so I'll give you a close-up. Well play worn, this one. So we'll just put this camera back on the tripod and then we'll have a look, see it with all the base apart and stuff. Okay, let's catch in a second. Right, that's it, back on the tripod. Uh, okay, so have a look. Get all that junk, get it out of the way. That's it. Close it up. That's the inside. There's no interior, no glass, nothing like that with it. Got this is the cantilever towing hook, which is broke off. Which you get a lot of these, uh, because they people bend them to to fit and what have you, and they and they break off. This one was broken off. So, and it's got the front wheel, little front wheel there. I'm not going to take this off. I don't think it's necessary. I can paint that by hand or whatever. I'm not taking it off. So, I'll get this out if we can. Busy. Easy said and done. There you go. That's broke. I have a replacement here. One I made earlier. There you go. This is quite supple this actually but it does the job and it goes up underneath you know i was saying to you one of my other videos about this curve here when it fits up underneath there because it, it's only like a cantilever it just hooks up underneath there drop it down and it hooks underneath there it's quite a good idea actually quite a good idea it looks a bit ugly but it works so that's the part for that the axles they're not peened over at the end because they just fit straight into into here. Like so. That's it. They fit in there and the base fits over the top. That's it. That's how it works. So it's pretty straightforward, really. Right, now I'm going to show you this. Typical... You know when you have one of them days where everything goes wrong? No matter what you do, you wake up, you think, oh, I'm on a great, you're on a good day today. You're going to do this, you're going to do that. And all of a sudden, as soon as you touch something, it goes wrong. And from then onwards, everything goes wrong. Well, I have one of them days up to now, so far, but I'm sticking with it. You know what happened? Back rivet. <coughs> I set my drill stop for these. But I didn't realise. And, of course, gone through. There you go. Stupid, isn't it? But, that's what happens. It's one of them days. But, luckily, the rivet doesn't come that far anyway. So, I'll fill that and paint it. And you'll never know it's there. So, and the, what I'm going to do, cream first. Overrun that line. And then mask that off. And do the orange. Which I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use the Tamiya orange. Uh, just make that, because it's a bit light, I'll just darken it down a little bit and it should be okay. Right, so I'm going to boil the kettle and then uh, chuck this in the caustic soda. Catch you in a second. Okay, kettle's just boiled. We've got the caustic soda ready. All right, here we go. I'm going to tip this in there now. That's warm things up a bit in here. It's a bit blimmy cold in there tomorrow. Just gotta cover that. 
Right. Here comes the magic. See, the orange is coming off already. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. The orange is coming off already. It's bubbling away, look. I'll just have a sip of my coffee. Mmm. Noise. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, you have one of them days where everything goes wrong. Really wrong. I mean, just before I did this video, before I boiled the kettle, it... A wasp came in through the door and I went to bat it away and hit the flipping kettle, knocked it upside down, water all over the floor. Great. So it's, you know, it's still continuing. Hopefully, it can't really go wrong from here, surely. So we're going to see what it is like. I'll probably put my tweezers in here. It'll be a melted lump in the bottom, you know. It's one of them days. But no, that's no, still here. Oh, look at that. Look. look at that. That's quick, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. That's where it's... What's that? A couple of minutes? Not even that. A minute and a half, look. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Look at that. I tell you, definitely converted. That's gone. All right, OK. All right, let's get something to stand that on. Get a bit of rag here, I'll stand it on that. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna get it all over me. All right, let's get it out of there now. There you go. I'll just stand it on that bit of rag there for a minute. Right, the base is in here somewhere. I fish around for it. I think it's it. There it is, somewhere. Yeah, no, missed it. There it is. There you got it. Oh, no, dropped it. Come on, bugger, there it is. Gonna rinse out. Yeah, that's all right. Get some of the crap off it. Yeah, there you go. Job done. All right. There. Well, excellent. Right, I'm gonna draw this off and give it a clean up with a wire wall. You don't really want to see me clean it up with a wire wall. It's standard stuff, Dremel, wire wall, job done. Yeah, so I should back in a minute. I've done that. After we've done the uh, dipping, we dip tip, I polished it all up with the wire wheel and primed it and I put the uh, top coat on the top half, which is the cream. So this is what we got. It's chucking about a bit in the camera, but yeah. So that's what we got. So now, what we're going to do now is mask this off. I'm going to mask it so this, the or orange goes on that dividing line. So I'm going to mask it just behind there. So the ones that I've seen are all masked, all painted up, and that waistline's painted as well. So this will be orange. Not, and I think, yeah, the front as well. But not the back. Okay, so I'm gonna mask it up and we'll get that done. So that hopefully will be an easy job. I've done the base, that's ready to go. That's it to go. The wheels are over there drying. So next step masking. I'll come back to you when I've masked it up and we'll get the oh the orange we're gonna use this one. There you go. Just picked that up this morning, actually. I wanted a smaller one, but I had to get a flipping big one because I didn't have a small one. But yeah, that's the orange. So, it's going to be that. I've got plenty of orange there. It's going to be hell. What was that? 400 millilitres or something? Let's have a look here. Yeah, look, 400 millimetres, that one. So, we got that. And, and before I go, I just picked this up as well while I was there. Now I'm going to give this a go. 
not on this video, but I'm going to do a video where I'm going to uh, test this out. Have a look at this. Multi-purpose spray paint, chrome, gloss finish. So, I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to see how that goes, because I've got one of, I've got one or two cars. Uh, especially, I've got uh, the, um, the Chevy, the, here we go, the Chevy, um, oh, what they call it, uh, dog, dog kennel van, you know, the red and white one, with a dog pound or dog kennel written on it. Well, apparently that comes in three pieces. You've got the bottom half, the top half, and the middle piece. And the middle piece is all chrome, right way down the sides, back and front. So I thought, yeah, ideal place to try it is this. But... I might do on a test piece first. I've got a couple of old uh, castings. I might uh, do one in primer and then this, and one without primer and then this, and then see what happens. And I'll pick the best method and do the uh, the Chevrolet truck, Chevrolet van in it. Okay? So that's for another video. So stay tuned for that one. Oh, and it was only about two quid, I think, for that lot. It's not bad, it? Two quid. Yeah, look, that's 400 millilitres as well. Compared to the eight pound... I nearly paid for this, this one, that was seven pounds something, and this was two quid. Just goes to show, doesn't it? Anyway, that's that, that's, we've gone off track a bit there. So, that's where we are, going to mask it, and then I'll come back to you when I'm ready to paint the orange. Okay, see you a little bit, bye. That's it, we're masked up. Mast up down to the line. Mast up down inside, just inside the line there. All the way around. Back. So, as you can see, we're on this side of the line here. And the front. Hopefully, hopefully that will be it. So I'll give that a good spray of the orange. So I'm going to get and do that now. Set the camera up by the spray booth and uh, you can join me over there and we'll spray some orange. Okay, back in a sec. We're at the spray booth now, as you can see. <coughs> Got the forceps in. Good can of good old shake. It's cold in here today, so I had, had the heater on for about an hour or so while I had the dinner. So I've come back up here and excuse me, I give this a good old shake because uh, it needs a good old shake. I'm going to give this a go and see how, see what happens. That's good exercise, you know. And we'll see what happens. Oh, I tell you what, I better switch switch this on, aren't I? There you go. <coughs> That's it. Right. Oh. Yeah, I'm forgetting myself here. I'm going to shove some up the up here. tissue in there that will stop it and the orange getting out through the windows at the top because there's no glass or anything in it so right here we go I'm trying to spray away from the masking line if I can thin coat on give it a second or two Hey, 
There you go. Let me see that, babe. It's a bit. I still got to try and sort this lighting out in here. I've got the light just above here, but it's uh, not so clever. Nah, no, no, really. Right. Let that dry off. Put it on the stand, I'll let it dry for a bit. So I'll come at you when that's dry. I'll get the masker tape off. I don't like to leave the masker tape on for too long. Oh, it's, uh, let it go off a little bit, then I'll take the masker tape off. All right? So you'll see it when all the tape's off. Okay, see you in a minute. Right. Got all the masking off. Painted the bottom. And she's all ready to go. She had a couple of coats of lacquer. And uh, I left standing for a few days to harden it off. Uh, this video would have gone out a few days earlier, but I had a few problems, and not with this, but I do. Uh, I'll do a few other jobs, so uh, it got delayed. So, anyway, here we go. That's it. So now we're going to put it together now. Okay, first things first, got to put the towing hook in. This is a bit tricky to get that in. It might be even tricky for me to do it on camera. You've got to try and get that in there. It's a bit fiddly because of the hook on the end. I could bend it straight and then bend it again, but I don't really want to do that. So try and get that under, underneath that wheel. There you go. Get it under, up underneath that wheel. And then twist it. Like I say it's a bit awkward. Twist it there, that's it. That's it. There you go. That's it. So you see how that works now, look. On a cantilever. Up underneath there. It does keep moving around a little bit. You just got to get it right. That's it. Right. Get that right way around. That's it. That way around. Stay there. All right. Have it tipped up like that. That's okay. Right. So, now we get the wheels, the axle, drop them in, try and pick it up, where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Got the wheels. One, two, now these haven't been peened over, they don't need to be peened over, because the body of the van holds it in place, as you'll see. Drop that in there. Drop that in there. Spread them out a little bit. There and there. There you go. There in. Base on. That's it. That's the base on. Now, put the rivets in. I've got the short rivet. Can't hardly see that. Short rivet for the back. All right, I've mixed this up, so that's all right. Yeah, it's not gone hard. Uh, we'll start putting that in the holes. Excuse me, will I put some of that in there? Let's hold that in.
Stop in there. Yeah. Use it up. Right. Rivet. 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 First one. Two. And one at the back. And get it in my fingers. There you go. That's it. And we have it. Right. I'm a bit reluctant at the moment to turn it over because that needs to be held down there. The chassis, the, the, the plate is flat, but it's got a bit of a lift to it. I don't really want to mess about with it too much. Right. Oh, just so I can show you while it's drying. I'll just gently wheel that on there. There you go. Yeah, the base is coming off now. Yeah. Right, let's just... All live, folks, all live. Let me just try something here. It's going to give this a bit of a bend. Because I'm not happy with the way that is sitting there so I'm gonna just gonna give that a bit of a bend see if that fits any better usually if you can't see much but I'm now that's better that's got it So I'm just trying to keep this in shot while I'm, that's it, while I'm doing it. Right. Oh, look at, anyway, eh? Look at what I've done here. Oh, dear. Right, I've got to lift this off now, look. Forgot to put the axle in, didn't I? Oh, here we go. You know, when I started this, I said about having a bad day. It's been a bad week. Put that back in there. Come on, you toe rag. That's it. Right. Put that underneath there. Come on now. Come on now. Come to Papa. We're not doing very well, are we? Hey. Eh? See, I'm showing off all my fantastic skills. I've got. That's still bending up, look. Oh, 
All right, okay. I'm not going to bend it anymore. I'm going to bend it out of shape. Right. We have a turtle upside down. Just give that a second or two and then we'll do it. Right. Uh, still coming out. Anyway, trust me. That's together. Some muck on the top. She's not holding together well. Look at this, look. She's certainly not holding together well. Certainly not holding together. I should get some super glue, I think, really, at the end of the day. It just doesn't seem to be holding well at all. I'm not sure what it is what's stopping it, but... It's certainly not uh, sitting right, is it? Maybe I should have... Uh, That seems a bit better. Right. There. Right, folks. I don't seem to be much bend in it. Yeah. That's working. Have a look at my upside down caravan. And it's, uh, it's fabulous. It really is. Right, we just I'm gonna one more go flipping it over to see if it'll hold. But I'm gonna hold it in my hand this time. There it is. All done. Towing it on there. It's all done. That's it. Right, there you go. Sorry about the cock up at the end, but, you know, things always don't go true to form, especially when you're on camera, they always go wrong. But, hope you like it, plain and simple. Now, Kadoke, well, I'm not sure what we'll be doing next, but I'm sure it'll be something, and we'll be shortly. Okay, thanks for watching anyway. All right, cheers and bye.